Hi everyone! How's everybody doing? I know the last time I filmed one of these unboxing videos was two months ago, so I am very very excited to be back here today to film something for you all. I'm going to be unboxing Jimin's first solo album, Face. So I got these off of the Weaver's Global store. I actually got the set, so it comes with the two versions of the album. So this is the undefinable face version and this one is the invisible face version. As part of the set, I also got the Weavers albums version, which is this version right here. And I got a pre-order special gift for purchasing the set over here. So this is everything I purchased. I'm actually going to split this video up into two videos. For this video, I will be unboxing the two albums and then I will do a separate unboxing video unboxing the Weavers album and the pre-order special gift. And I'll leave a link to this video up on the screen right here and also down in the description box so you can go check it out after this video. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Let me take the outer packaging off of these. Just an FYI, the outer packaging, it's like really, really tight. So just be really careful when you are unboxing this so you don't actually end up tearing the album itself. Here are the albums without the plastic wrapping. First impressions, it looks really, really cool. I really like the outer design and how shiny it looks. It looks really elegant. I like the colors that were chosen. So this one is a little bit more of a lighter silver and this one is more of like a darker silver color. And I really like how the cover shines if you do this. It's the same for this one. This is really cool. And just an FYI, you guys can also purchase this album on Amazon as well. I think it's on sale for around 20 US dollars at the time of me filming this. So I'll leave that option down in the description box if you're interested. Now let's take a closer look at the invisible version. Here's the front cover of the invisible face version. At the very top here we have Jimin. And if you run your fingers across, it provides a different texture. In the center here, we have the title of the album, which is Face, and three circles around it. And I really like this circular design around it because it kind of reminds me of the ripple effect you see when you throw a piece of stone or like a rock across a lake, you know? This is a really cool design, and this has a different texture too, which is really, really cool. And down here, it says Circle of Resonance, Reflection of Vulnerable Minds and Unexposed Wounds, and Echo, Tremor, and Small Movement to Reach You. Wow, this is actually so deep. Wow. I'm already so impressed by this. I think this whole album, like the concept, I think it's super unique. Here's what the side looks like. It says Face, Circle of Resonance, and then the same thing as the front cover. I'm not sure what this number means. If anybody knows, please let me know down in the comments. And then lastly, we have Jimin again written over here. Here is what the back looks like. So we have barcode and then face. Oh, this is a different logo. I like this one actually. This one looks really cool. And then, oh, there's something else written here. So it says, waves originating from the deepest invisible inner world pass through the face on the surface and reach others to resonate while transmitting the inner voice. Waves spread beautifully, finding its own flow despite wounds and distortions from a smallest scratch. The face of unwavering effort despite repeated fails and pain. And up here we have this really cool design. If you look at it, it kind of shines a little bit if you tilt the album. So we have one here and one down here. And down here we have the official logo. There's a lot of inclusions in here, so let me just take them out first before we flip through the photo book. Okay, let's flip through this to see which concept this is. Oh, okay, so this is the lighter concept version. So I'm thinking the other version has the more darker concept. So this is what it looks like. I'll just quickly do a quick flip through so you guys have an idea of what concept it is. I really like how the pictures are printed on super high quality pages here. Like every page is kind of thick compared to 
a lot of the albums that I've unboxed before. So the quality I think is actually quite good. Something else I really like is that there's information regarding the tracks of this album scattered throughout. So we have information right here regarding like the composition and production. And then I believe these are the lyrics for this corresponding song. Okay, so that is it for the photo book. All right, now let's take a look at the inclusions. So first off, I have this postcard and I think this is a randomized item. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this is what the back looks like. I really like the design on the back and if you tilt the postcard, you can see that there's a little shiny effect here, which is really awesome. Okay, so let's see what the front looks like. Oh, okay. So this is a horizontal postcard. This is really high quality, guys. Like, I'm not even joking. This is really high quality. Okay, now let's take a look at this pile of inclusions. So let's see what this one is. Ah, okay. So this is the typical Weaver's QR code. So you can scan this and it should give you a small like Weaver's cash discount added onto your account. However, unfortunately, I live in the United States, so I don't think this works for if you're living in the United States, but I do collect these cards, so I am very excited to have this in my collection. I believe this is the CD. Oh, wow. I just really, really like the design on this album, like the circular design and the shiny shininess of this whole album. I think it looks really nice. Okay, so in the middle, it just says an echo, tremor, and small movement to reach you. That is such a cute saying. Okay, so let's take a look at the back. Whoa, okay. I really like the shininess on here. Okay, let's take a look at what this CD looks like. I'm very curious. Oh, wow, guys, look at this. The design itself is pretty simple. It's just face. And up here, it says reflection of vulnerable minds and unexposed wounds. This is really cool. I think this is one of my favorite CD designs. I like how simple it is. I also like that if you tilt it a little bit, you can see like the rainbow reflection on here, which is really cool. Wait, are these photo cards? I think there's like more than one photo card this time around. I'm so excited, guys. So when I first started collecting, I wasn't into photo cards. However, I just kept on like unboxing things to a point where I was saving up like all of my photo cards. And then like one day, I was like, you know what? I should probably just start collecting photo cards. Now, two years since I started this channel, I have a huge photo card collection. If you're interested in seeing my photo card collection, Leave a comment in the comment section. Let's take a look at what I have here. So it looks like we have four pieces, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four photo cards and a postcard. Let's take a look at this postcard first. This is what it says. Okay, let's flip it over and see. Oh, wow. This is a nice picture of him. I really like how all of these inclusions are super high definition. And see, like even if I zoom in this much, like you can still see his face really clearly. That's really impressive. Okay, so this is what the postcard I got looks like. It's photo card time. Let's see which photo cards I got. So let's start with this one. I like how this one is pink. And this is what the back says. Let's take a look. One, two, three. Three. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, guys. This is so adorable. And the texture of this card, I think it's your typical photo card in terms of the width and size. I think it actually might be a little bit thicker, which is really nice. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. This one has a lot on the back. So this is what it says. Okay, let's take a look. One, two, and three. Oh my gosh, please. These are so cute, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at these designs on the back. This is so cool. I like how half of it is like this and half is like this. I'm just really impressed with the whole designing of this album. Okay, so here's the top and 
you do that, it shines a little bit. So this is what it says. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, so cute. Okay, and lastly, we have this one. Okay, let's see which one I got. One, two, and three. Oh, wait. See, now that I flipped all of these over, I think these are like one set. So I think these three are part of the same concept and this is a standalone one. All right, now let's switch over to unboxing the undefinable face version. So here's what the front looks like. It looks exactly the same as the invisible face version, except I think the overall color chosen for this is a little bit darker. It's like a darker silver color. And up here we have the labels down here as a pink color it's like a light pink color here's what the side looks like it's the same thing as the design on the invisible version except it's a light pink color this time and here's what the back says i believe this is the same as the invisible version okay so let me first take out the inclusions and then we'll take a look at the photo book i am very excited for this version because i tend to like the darker, cooler concepts for everybody's albums. So yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, so this is the darker version. Wow, yes, okay. This is the version that I like out of the two versions by far. Oh my gosh, guys, look at him. Wow, he looks really cool, especially like in the leather jacket. Okay, so let me do a quick flip through here. Oh, and let me know down in the comment section which version you like more. Do you like the invisible version or the uh, undefinable version? Oh, wow. Is he naked in this one? I like how these photos are super artistic too. Oh, wow. I think... This hairstyle really fits him. Oh, we got a postcard. Okay, and that was it for the photo book. So moving on to the inclusions, let's take a look at the large postcard first. So this has a really similar design on the back as the previous version. So let's see which one I got. Whoa, okay, this one looks really cool. I told you guys already, I like the darker versions a lot more. So yeah, this one looks really cool. Now let's take a look at this pile of inclusions. So first we have the CD and I think it's the same thing, except this time it's a light pink color. Okay, let's take a look at the design. I wonder if it's the same or a bit different. It's the same design, but the color is pink. Okay, next we have another one of these Weaver's QR codes. And then we have a postcard right here and then four pieces of photo cards. So let's take a look at the postcard first. Here's the back of the postcard. And let's see which postcard I got. One, two, and three. Whoa, he looks really cool in this concept. Are these rings? That's a lot of rings if he has all of that on his hands. Okay, now let's take a look at the photo cards I got. So let's take a look at this one first. So here's the back. And let's see, one, two, and three. Oh, wait. Okay, so I pulled a duplicate, guys, because I got the same one for the invisible version. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. Let's see, one, two, three. Whoa, this one looks really cool. Here is the third one. Let's see which one I got. Oh, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you kind of tilt the card, there is like a gold color underneath. I think for the previous versions for this card, it's a silver shade on the bottom. So that's cool. Okay, let's see which one I got. One, two, and three. Oh, wow. And lastly, let's see which card I got here. One, two, and three. So I end up getting this version. So these are all the photo cards I got for this version. 
All right, so that was the unboxing. So final thoughts. I think this album is worth it simply because it came with a lot of inclusions. Like I think this is the first time I've seen four photo cards included in a single album. And yeah, that was a pleasant surprise. And in addition to this, it also came with a mini postcard as well as a large postcard. So I think if you are a collector of photo cards, I think this album is already super worth it for you. I think overall this album in terms of the packaging and everything exceeded my expectations. And I am just super happy that I got this album. In terms of which album to get, I think it really depends on which concept you like more. Obviously, you can purchase the two versions together like I did if you can't choose. But if you like the more soft, lighter version, then you should go for the invisible version. On the other hand, if you're more into the more cooler concept, then I would go for the undefinable version. So like I said previously, I did purchase the Weavers albums version and I also got a pre-order special gift. I will be filming an unboxing right after I end this video for these two. Stick around for that. I hope this video was helpful and hopefully entertaining to some extent. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye!